Hello guys! Once again, this is Lira Riate and this time I will share to you a video that shows some examples of analgesics that may cause kidney disease. What is all about analgesics? Analgesics are medications taken for pain relief. The kidneys can be damaged when they are taken continuously or in a high doses. This condition is called analgesic nephropathy. The most common analgesics that can damage the kidney if taken in excess belong to the NSAID or non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug groups, particularly the penacetin family. The most common example of this is aspirin, ibuprofen, mefenamic acid, diclofenac, and naproxen. These are the most common NSAIDs used for pain relief and rheumatism. These are very effective pain relievers. Many people just take them without proper prescription of their doctors. Unfortunately, many chronic NSAID users discover their problem only when significant damage has already been inflicted on their kidneys. There are many NSAID that can be bought over the counter or OTC and thus can be abused. In addition, the rampant media advertisements of pain relief tablets for all pains like headache, body pain, dysmenorrhea, rheumatism, and others are contributing to the development of analgesic nephropathy. So what can we do now to avoid kidney disease from pain relievers? So we need to take only pain relievers as prescribed by your doctor and pay particular attention to the duration that these pain relievers can be taken without side effects. If your kidney problem is still not an end-stage kidney disease and there is still some function left, then you must drink a lot of fluids so your kidney can flush waste products without difficulty. Avoid taking big amounts of protein foods, especially meat products, so as not to overwork your kidney. Limit your salt intake to prevent hypertension which aggravate kidney failure. So that's all about this video guys and I hope you learned something from this video.